It's 2,448 miles long. It travels through eight states and three time zones. It starts off the land of lakes, Lake Michigan, goes through the Rocky Mountains, ends up on the West Coast. It's not your cell phone bill, it might be mine. It's Route 66. Most people think Route 66 has faded away in the history books. And if we go from California to Los Angeles, we prefer to fly. And if we do drive, we take the interstate because we love having the asphalt underneath our tires for miles after miles, eating at the same restaurants, the same gas stations, and staying at the same hotels. Me? That's not me. I like to see the hotels, the gas stations, and everything else. Gas stations built in the 1920s, the 30s, and 40s. Some of them look like they're brand new when they first opened. Some of them are looking like they could use a little work, and guess what? They're getting it. I like staying at the hotels that are lit up with neon, that have nice little cozy rooms that have been open for generations and owned by families. Thousands upon thousands of travelers stop just to stay here. You could have the Hilton, you could have the Hyatt. And I like stopping at the wonderful restaurants that feed you and the food sticks to your ribs and you can't sue them when you spill a cup of coffee on you. That mom and pop are in the kitchen making the same meal generation after generation. Most people think Route 66 is just a banded road, and that's not true. I mentioned before, 80% of it is still drivable. Most of it is a nice little path you could take. Some of it's the interstate that we drive on now. Others are little roads like this off to the side that are great photo ops. I love stopping and talking to the people that actually live and work on Route 66. These people are the true historians. They're the ones who keep it alive. They're the ones who sit there and greet you with a great smile, a handshake. And I love working with the people that preserve it. These people are an army of people out there trying to regrow, rebuild, and keep Route 66 alive for future generations. That's me up on the ladder trying not to fall off. <laughs> I love the fact that all these little towns you've probably never heard of are in a network. The mother road, as John Steinbeck calls it. They're sitting there and they know from point A to point B, it's all a chain link. And they want to be the best they can and they take pride. Uh, people from across the seas come over here in droves and travel. This is actually a group from Europe. They rent Harleys. 150 of them at a time drive Route 66. They treat this like we treat Disney World. They save up for years and years to come over here. They come over to see a rusty bridge. They come over to see an old road. They come over to see Americana. They come over to see how it was. These are the only things they hear about. These are things they want to see, and they come and see it. 40% of the travelers on Route 66 are from overseas. They want to come and see the nostalgia. They want to come drive in theater. I don't know how many people here have been in drive-in theater, but they're few and far. They want to come and they want to see an orange-shaped building painted orange, which I think they sell grapes. <laughs> we could start here in Arizona. Arizona's got a great Route 66 stretch. You could sleep in a teepee in Holbrook. You could, go, you could go stand on a corner in Winslow, Arizona, if you want, and take your picture taken. <laughs> it's there. They have a monument. Flagstaff is a phenomenal Route 66 town. I've been them all. I've, I've traveled it many times. Williams, the gateway to the Grand Canyon. You can sleep in a cave if you want. Make sure you get the one with the door, not the one out in the woods. <laughs> you can stop in Oatman. Oatman is an old mining town, a mile and a half long, and burrows run the town. You'll stop for five, ten minutes, and they'll look at you, and you'll be like, I'm stopping. This is a major, major attraction. Cross over the Colorado River to Needles, California. They are in a boom of bringing back Route 66. And that's just enough to know what's that way. And then head back over to New Mexico and go that way. You don't have to drive it all at once. You can see little parts of it at a time. Where else are you going to see a giant blue whale? <laughs> really, in Oklahoma. And that's me sitting up on the tail of it. I'm not Noah, I'm Ed. The Route 66 is a strong heritage in this country. And as I was putting this presentation together, I said, I don't know why I called it the title I did. I should have called it Route 66. Why take the interstate? Get off and see the little things once in a while. If you got kids, they might appreciate it. Throw cars in a DVD. Say, guys, we're driving the road. Cars was made on. If you got any other questions or you want any more travel advice or any other information, visit my website. 
My name is Ed Klein. I'm a Route 66 traveler. I'm a Route 66 preservationist. I thank you and I hope to see you on the road.